What's up ladies, Tamar here and we are already in the middle of our week 7 with session 2 dedicated to full body workout. We're making progress and upgrading our exercises and also increasing the repetitions. And with new me 360 degree concept, you're on a great way to lifelong transformation. Not only you've already lost a significant amount of weight, but with new me nutrition plan, you've already changed your eating habits with six portions a day. And also this is a key success factor to your long-term healthy lifestyle. For this session, we're gonna need a medicine ball, a chair, and a mat. Let's go! Ladies, are you ready for a 5 minute warm up which consists of 10 exercises and we're gonna bring your heart rate up and prepare your body for a great training that follows. Let's go! We're gonna start with a step touch. You step to the side and touch with your other leg. We're gonna start high and slowly we're gonna go low. So basically, you go in your knees down, glutes go back, and you warm up your legs and your glutes, you warm also your arms are working also with your glutes. So basically, they're going in front of you and to the side of your body. You prepare for a great strength training that follows. And from here, we go double. Go a little lower, put your glutes back. Yes. Up. Can we do a little more? Yeah. Sure, we can. That's our beginning, right? Up. And we do a step curl on the spot. You go step and curl. Basically, you push your heel towards your glutes. To show you from the side, you're here. Push your heel to the knees, basically you keep yourself on your ass. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go lower. You should be already feeling your legs and your butt more. Up, up, a little more. From here, we have a step back. Step back. Our legs are wider. Step to the side. And of course, don't forget. Go lower. Push your glutes like back, sitting back into the chair. Yes. You're doing great. A little bit more. Up. Up. From this position, we're gonna add a little bit shoulder to also warm up our shoulders. We do a whole circle. Yes. Great job. Let's do a little bit more. And in front. Super. Let's go. Up, up. Can you feel your legs and your glutes already warming up? They should burn a little bit already, right? Okay. In this position, let's go into the jog. We're jogging on the spot. This is our, I would say, basic low jog. What we can do, we can and butt kick, you push your heel towards your glutes, yes, our, our quads are working, yes, there you go, a bit more, great, from this position, we go three steps up and knee lift, three step forward and knee lift, yeah, your knee 90 degrees, no lower than that, our option, of course, is here. Hop. Because I know you have some injuries in your knees and or other joints, so please use the options that are coming also in our strength training. Okay? Hop. Inside. Great. And what's next? Our jumping jack. Jumping jack, it's very important that you put your knees out and in line with your toes. You go down, push your butt back, the glutes go back, like sitting back into the chair. And what's our option? You do the V step. Yeah? Let's go. This is our option. Let's go lower. If 
you don't point the jack. And from jumping jack, we're gonna add some arms. We're gonna add it to upgrade our warm up and finish like winners. We're going to, toward the sky. And the sky is our limit, right? Let's do a little bit more. Oh. Step, option. Yes. Let's go. A little bit more. Go, 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 go. You're doing a great job. That's all. That's the ninth exercise. And the tenth that is going to follow. You won't believe it. We have knees up. Let's go. It's our high skipping. We're doing high skipping. Go, go, go. This is our finish, girls. Let's go. Woo. Auction. We are here. Yes. Great. A little more. Great job. Woo. And we warm up. Let's work. Next exercise is a squat with a medicine ball press above your head. Take a medicine ball of 2 to 3 kilos and this is a great exercise for activating as well as our lower body, our glutes and our quadriceps and also our shoulders and you basically do two exercises at once. So, take a medicine ball in your hands in front of your body and go basically in a, in a basic squat. Push your glutes back, like sitting back into the chair, watch your knees that are in line with your toes and don't exceed the toes and you activate your glutes and the quadriceps and also push your hands above your head, pull the medicine ball up and do 15 repetitions. So let's go. Push your glutes like sitting back, watch out your knees and push above your head. And go down and activate those glutes and activate the shoulders. Let's go. We do 15 repetitions so we have 12 more. Up. The glutes back and ten. Nine more to show you from the side and eight. Seven more. Last six. Yep. Watch out that your spine is in neutral position and your neck is in line with your spine. Last three. Yep. Only two more. Last one. Great job. Next exercise is a back extension on the floor. So this is a great exercise for activating and also strengthening our lower back muscles. So how to do a back extension? So basically lay on the floor with your stomach in front and put your hands uh, under your chin. So your elbows are flexed and also you extend the whole body, your, your toes are touching the floor and from this position you activate your lower back muscles and bring your head up with your hands, hold for two seconds and go down in a starting position. We're gonna do 15 repetitions. So let's go. Activate your lower back muscles up, hold and down and bring up and down and squeeze exhale and down 12 more and up squeeze and down and bring up and 10 more if this is too easy for you bring also your heels toward the sky toward the ceiling and go down and up and down. Seven more. Let's go. Squeeze, hold. Yeah. Also in this position, your glutes are also working. So last five. Oh. And this is too much for you. We have also an easier option to put your hands to the side. And a little bit not push from the hands, but you can have Last one, up, and down, great job. Next exercise is the burpee, which is a great exercise for activating the whole body and also bringing our heart rate up. So we're going to upgrade the repetition, so from 10 we go to 12 repetitions. So are you ready? 
We are going in the squat, in the middle, the weight, we push back, return legs and jump up. Let's go. Run for position. And one. Squeeze those abs. Push yourself back with your legs. Watch out that your spine is in line. That you don't go with your spine down but up. Seven more. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. If you want option, it's here. Okay, last one. Great job. Next exercise on tricep dips on the chair with knees on 120 degrees angle. So we're gonna put our back facing our chair, put your hands, palms facing down, and your palms are quite together, and also your wrists are flexed. Your spine is in neutral position, and also your neck is in line with the spine, and put your legs up front, so your knees are on 120 degrees angle. In this position, you only flex in your elbows and elbows go directly back, not to the side but back. And also activating the tricep, you extend the elbows and here is the activating phase of your triceps. So, go down, inhale and up, exhale. We do 18 repetitions, so let's go. Go down directly and extend. Watch out that your elbows go directly back. Let's go. 15. 14. Your spine is in a third position. 15. Let's go. 12. 11. Go, go. Activate those triceps. Upgrade already, you see also the increase of repetition. Six. Let's go. Five. Last five. And four. Your triceps should already burn. Last three. Only two more. One more. And finish. Great job. Next exercise are push-ups on your knees with a 120 degrees angle in combination with a mountain climb. So this is a great exercise for activating our shoulder, our chest and also our abs and glutes basically for the whole body. So for the push-up, put your hands much wider than your shoulders and bring your whole body in front. So your weight is on your hands and you see your knees are on a 120 degrees angle. From this position, you go down by flexing your elbows to the side into 90 degrees angle and you push and activate your shoulders and your chest. You do four repetitions like this and from this point you go putting your hands in the middle, extend the whole body and bring your knees and do eight mountain climbers. So we have four push-ups, four mountain climbers and four series. So let's go. Put your hands and pull. Four push-ups, down and push. Your spine is in neutral position, your neck is in line with spine. Put your hands in the middle, activate it, squeeze those abs, bring your knees to the chest. Eight repetitions. And from the beginning, push-ups. Push. Down, activate those shoulders. Those chest. One more. Bring your hands in the middle, the weight is in front, and knees to the chest. Let's go. Third round, and down, and push up, down. You see where the knees are? They are way, way back. One more. Bring your hands in the middle and 
bring those knees to the chest, to the finish. Great job. Next exercise is a plank twist. So this is a great exercise for activating and shaping our side abdominal muscles, so our obliques. So how to do a plank twist? So we go in a plank, so basically you extend the arms and bringing your weight on your arms, extending the whole body in line with the floor and squeeze those abs, squeeze those glutes. And from this position you bring your knee like going to the chest, but you don't go to the chest, but you go diagonally Twisting, doing the twist, activating the obliques, going in the starting position and doing the other side. So we're gonna do 20 repetitions. Let's go. And twist one knee and change, twist the other. Twist and change. Yes. Squeeze those abs, squeeze those glutes. And basically also the whole body is the work. 12 more, let's go, and 10, your spine is in neutral position, and 8, and also your neck is in line with your spine, do the twist, last 6, you should feel the obliques working, last 4, let's go, and 2, twist, 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 yes, Great job. Hi ladies, and we are at the end of our strength training session with the well-deserved stretching. So we're gonna stretch our whole body and bring our temperature of the body down and, and do a core bound. So step to the side and we're gonna stretch first our quads. So bring one foot to your glutes and also your knees together and stretch those squats. So stretch for 10 seconds and change, step to the side, bring the other leg up, bring the knees together and stretch the quads, yes, let's go, step to the side, bring one leg back by flexing the knee, the, the, the knee that is uh, behind you is flexed and also the, the leg that is in front of you is a little bit flexed, knee not, not completely extended, not locked, but a little bit flexed. Bring your glutes back, sit back into the chair and you should feel those hamstrings and the glutes stretching and they should hurt a little bit. So this is the point of the stretching. You feel the muscles working, stretching and going into the relaxed state to bring them in our starting position, preparing them for all the strength training sessions that are coming in the following weeks. So change and stretch glutes and the hamstrings. Great job. Okay, put one foot down and bring the knee is in basically flex and the other leg extend back and put the, foot, the uh, heel down. So you push the heel down and uh, extend and stretch the cuff. Spine is in neutral position and also your neck is in line with your spine. And go down, your weight is in the middle, push the heel in the floor. Change and push the heel down. So the front knee is flexed. The last, last leg, the, the one in the back, it's extended and the heel pushed down. This position, bring one arm in front of you, cross the chest, and uh, with your arm, push your upper arm down and stretch the shoulder. Good job. Hold. And let's go. The other one. Hold and stretch the shoulder. Doing a great job. From this position, Flex the elbow, bringing it up and pushing your forearm down your, your back. So basically you want to stretch those tri tricycle, triceps, so push down the elbow and change, push down the triceps and then work 
working very hard, so they deserve a good stretch, right? Good. Inhale, your feet are much wider than your hips. Exhale, in front, go. Way, way in front of you, extend and hold. Your spine should be in neutral position. Try to bring the feet together, right? And you feel those hamstrings and the glutes. And go front, go here, right? Go further and flex one knee and the other. The heel push down the heel, right? The other. in your feet, in your foot, so you inhale and go to the side, let's go far, far to the side and stretch, you want to stretch here, right, so hold, let's go to the other side, great job, you can hold for your foot, hold for your toes, so one leg, so knee is flexed and now you flex your, your toes and inhale, exhale and go far, far in front, hold, your hip is open, right? in this position, take the flexed leg and put it on the other side, so your foot is on the other side, bring your trunk on the opposite and again stretch. Good job. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. It's very important that you don't really see the shot going down but be as up and confident. hard, you're working consistently and also the results are amazing. So other leg, let's go. Good job. Okay, bring both legs and cross them. Inhale. Thank you. 